So you are a mythologist, if, if, if I may I quote am. your website. Yeah, mythologist. So what is a mythologist? Well, you know, first of all, it's someone who goes to graduate school to study mythology, somebody who, uh, you know, devotes their time, effort, education, finances, you know, to the study of mythology. And I later this year, I'm completing my PhD in mythology. And the reason I became interested in that was I wanted to learn about the stories behind the stories. What are these stories, you know, that keep appearing um, in, in different places around the globe throughout history? Why, for example, do we keep telling the story of Cinderella in a million different cultures throughout history over and over and over again? Mm -hmm. Why do we keep telling the story of Hercules? Uh, you know, we, we've got basically every uh, movie with The Rock or Vin Diesel is another version of the Hercules story. Mm -hmm. So why do we keep telling these stories over and over again? I wanted to learn about that. So I went and spent several years of my life, um, you know, taking these classes and reading these books and uh, listening to the greatest mythologists in the world talk about um, why human beings keep being drawn to these same narratives over and over again. And of course, we end up studying a lot of the, the what many would say was the greatest mythologist, Joseph Campbell, yeah. who had such an influence on George Lucas in the creation of the original Star Wars, which being a Star Wars fan, I was familiar with Joseph Campbell. I knew that Star Wars was based on this mythological idea of the hero's journey. And I wanted to know more about that. And, and I think, you know, in the last few years, um, there have been a people, there have been a lot of people who have, uh, you know, anytime somebody finds value in something or really likes something, there's like a whole group of people that rise up that want to tear that down and want to, to, to talk about why that's not, uh, you know, a good thing or a helpful thing. Right, right. Um, and, and you know what? Um, I, I really have issue with, with people that make their whole careers or make their whole online presence about trying to tear down someone else's work. Um, I feel like the, the value to the hero's journey is um, it, it's tremendous. And it doesn't mean that every story that's ever you know hit the screen needs to be about the hero's journey. As a matter of fact, Joseph Campbell was a guy who's he was not prescriptive in what he was saying. He didn't say, in order to tell a good story, you need to have these elements. He was being descriptive of the stories he had saw throughout the centuries and throughout history of what had worked well and what had um, risen up in storytelling, you know, in all these different cultures throughout history. So it wasn't even meant to be a prescriptive thing. Um, you know, it's not trying to make storytelling formulaic. What it really is, is getting to the base psychology of how human beings solve problems and the way that we put that in narrative form.